Hi guys, it's Kino. Welcome to another video. So in today's pick a card reading, we are going to be finding out who is about to enter into your life and what type of connection it's going to be and what this person is going to bring into your life or people. There could be multiple. This is always a super fun topic to do and I hope that you guys are going to enjoy it. But just before we get into it, I want to give a huge thank you to Aura, who is sponsoring today's video. This past year, 2022, was huge for me in terms of self-care and improving my mental health. Having a proper wind-down routine and getting enough sleep is so important for this, and that is where Aura is a huge help. Aura is a new mindfulness and sleep app that won the Best of Apple Award and is currently being used by over 7 million people. It has thousands of tracks created by expert coaches around the world, ranging from meditation, breath work, life coaching, CBT. It's an all-in-one app for your well-being and sleep. Like a Spotify for your mind and soul. When you create your account, Aura will ask you some questions to get an idea of what you're struggling with and what could help you improve to provide you with a tailored experience of the app. Aura knows exactly what coaches to recommend to me and what kind of tracks I like. I can also favorite tracks that I like and follow the coaches who resonate with me so that I can get even more of what works for me. Aura actually introduced me to the joy of guided meditations. I love listening to the meditations before bed to help me relax and drift off to sleep and it has been a game changer. Having that guidance to help me intentionally relax and also to remind me that I have permission to relax. That has been so powerful and honestly, I have gotten emotional listening to the meditations a few times. Sleep is magical, you guys, and if you're like me and you love sleep but you struggle to get into that peaceful state that is conducive to sleep, Aura has your back. You can get started with Aura completely for free by using my link, which will be up here on the screen, and it will also be in the description as well as in the pinned comment. The first 500 people who sign up using my link will get a free trial plus an exclusive 25% off their membership. Thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring today's video, and thank you so much to you guys for listening to that. And let's get on to the reading. Hi guys, it's Kino. Welcome to another video. So in today's pick a deck reading, we are going to be finding out who is coming towards you and what they are offering you. So there's not really much to explain in terms of how this reading will go because it's exactly as the title says, we're gonna start off by seeing who is coming towards you. We're gonna identify the person and then we're gonna see what they're bringing you. So it's a pretty simple reading, um, but there is gonna be an extended reading today. And in the extended reading, we're going to see why this offer is coming to you at this time. And this could be explored from a more 3D perspective, like what was the thought process of this person to come towards you, um, or it could be from a more spiritual perspective, as in spirit is coming to bring you this offer right now because you are ready to experience XYZ at this point in your journey. Oh, and also <laughs> we're going to see what will happen if you choose to accept this offer. So if you go forward with the offer, what will happen after that? Yes, okay, I think that is everything. So I think we will jump right into your group selection. There are four readings for you guys to choose from today and we're gonna be using a different tarot deck in each reading. And usually I would show you guys the same card from each tarot deck to give you a feel for the front artwork as well. But today I felt like showing a different card for each deck. So I just shuffled each deck and whichever card fell out, that's the one that I'm going to show you. So when you're choosing your reading, you could be drawn to this back artwork, you could be drawn to the front or the actual specific card that comes out, whether that's like you're drawn to it aesthetically or to the meaning of the card if you're familiar with them. Um, and I also wanted to say for this reading, you're definitely free to choose multiple groups because you could most definitely be receiving multiple offers. So if you do happen to be drawn to more than one, this is not one of those readings to limit yourself. Well, you don't have to limit yourself in any reading, but especially for this one, go wild, okay? <laughs> so. Without further ado, let's give you a close-up look at each of your options. Option number one, your deck is the Dreamy Moons Tarot, and your card is the Three of Cups. Option number two, your deck is the Crystal Power Tarot, and your card is the Emperor. 
Option number three, your deck is the Orion's Animal Tarot and your card is the King of Pentacles. And option number four, your deck is the Chakra Wisdom Tarot and your card is the Hermit. Wow, I feel like we have a nice um, consistent color theme going on here. Okay, so just in case you guys need a little bit more time to pick, these are all of your options laid out side by side so that you can compare them and see which one or ones are calling to you the most. As always, take all the time you need to pick. You can pause the video if you need to, and I'm going to go ahead and get started with number one. Hi number ones, so if you guys chose the Dreamy Moons Tarot, this is going to be your reading. So in this reading, we're going to start off by identifying the person who is coming towards you, and then we're going to see what it is that they are offering you. And then like I mentioned in the intro, there is going to be an extended reading today where we see why this offer is coming to you right now, um, whether that be what was the thought process of this person to come towards you, or why spirit is bringing you this experience right now in your journey and then we're gonna see what would happen if you choose to take this offer so um, the first thing we need to do is identify the person so I have some Oracle cards to help us do that to start off we have the moon we have surrender let go let God having faith in the unseen Door to personal healing and happiness. And moon again with perception. There's a whole lot of moon going on here. Um, oh my gosh, and you guys chose the Dreamy Moons Tarot, so that's also a moon. Um, we have the moon here, we have the moon here, and we have the moon on this card. Um, I would say there's also a lot of Piscean energy to this group because the moon is related to the sign of Pisces and then we have fish on this card um, Also cancer could be significant because cancer is ruled by the moon So Piscean and Cancerian energy are present here um, We also have the numbers 18 34 and 19 which could be relevant. This person could be 34 years old. Um, I guess 18 or 19 as well, or although that may be the case for fewer of you. Um, 18 and 19 could be dates though, like maybe this person is born on the 18th or the 19th of the month. Um, and that would be cool if like they're a Pisces born on March 18 or 19, because we have three here or like a Cancer born on July 18th or 19th because 34 reduces to seven. Um, anyway, let's get into the meanings of these cards, starting over here with the moon. Um, when this comes to who someone is, I always get the feeling with the moon that this is someone who has a kind of dreamy energy to them or a kind of ethereal energy to them. Um, they could have, what is actually coming to me with this is that they could have a very like soft or beautiful speaking voice, just like honey, <laughs> or they have a beautiful singing voice. And I think they have quite um, a mellow demeanor to them. They just have a very like soft and dreamy aura. Um, they could have, going into like their physical appearance, they could have a round face or round eyes, a round nose or cheeks, just rounded features. Um, and they could also have quite feminine features about them or feminine qualities to their energy. Um, and that doesn't matter regardless of whether they are a woman or not because everybody has feminine and masculine energy. Um, and they could also have some light features about them. So like a light complexion or light colored eyes or light colored hair. Um, and it could be natural or it could be unnatural, as in they dyed their hair a lighter color or maybe they wear lighter colored um, contact lenses. Um, but I'm getting the feeling of light features for them. Um, I do believe that this person is spiritual to some extent. They definitely have that vibe to them. And I'm also getting that they have a kind of hippie vibe to them. I know that's kind of vague, but I think their aura is just very like peace and love, very go with the flow. They have a very uh, laid back, that's the word, 
laid back and easygoing demeanor to them and I think that when you are around them um, you just naturally feel more chill you feel more relaxed like this is the effect that they have on people and I don't I really don't think this is for everyone but I'm thinking about weed right now so that might be something that this person does um, I also think that this person is extremely creative they could be an artist for a living or they just really enjoy art with this um, Piscean energy and also this person dancing. Um, they could very well be a dancer or a musician or like a visual artist or they're just really into art. Um, or no, it's coming through like the, the lens through which this person sees the world, like they just see the world as a beautiful work of art. And I think that when you're with this person, um, the world just feels more beautiful. Like the way they see things, the way they perceive things with this perception card, it's like beautiful, it's, um, it's romantic. Like this person is definitely a dreamer, a romantic, an idealist. Um, and also I wanna mention with, oh, they could be a night owl as well with all of this moony energy here. I wanna mention with these two fish, this can be an indication of like abundance, resources, and because there's two fish, I'm thinking of joint resources. Um, so this could be someone that you're working with or that you could collaborate with in the future. Maybe that has something to do with what they're gonna offer you, but I just thought that I would, um, that I would mention that. Um, and with all of this watery energy, because we have a lot of Pisces and Cancer energy here, um, while this could be pertaining to their zodiac signs, I think it could also be pertaining to like in a, a very emotional or very spiritual connection that you feel towards this person or that you would feel towards them if you meet them. Um, and if you haven't met them yet, you would likely feel their energy before they come in, like have a sense of who they are or have a sense that they're coming towards you because Cancer and Pisces are highly intuitive and psychic um, signs. And yeah, with this door to personal healing and happiness, I feel like this is just such a relaxed person. They could have really fought to have this inner peace or it could just be something that comes naturally to them, but I feel like they don't get like caught up in the chaos of life they don't get caught up in like the grind of life. They're really just on their own time zone. <laughs> They're on their own wavelength. They're doing their own thing. Um, and they've really genuinely found their happiness and their inner peace. With this rainbow in the background, this definitely gives me a feeling of a happy person, but also someone who has learned to embrace their true colors and really embrace their identity, even if it's like an identity that is not widely accepted in society. They're like, I don't care, I'm just embracing who I uniquely am. Um, and what else did I wanna say with this card? Well, definitely that you will feel, like just being around this person, I feel like raises your vibration so much. It, it makes you happy, it, rem it reminds you to embrace like the simplicity of life and to not get caught up in the rat race of society um this person could kind of live they either live in a remote area or this is more like metaphorical in that they're just very much in their own world um but this is what i'm seeing about them so far from these oracle cards so now we're going to get into the tarot and see what exactly it is that this person is coming in to offer you My group number ones. This is gonna sound really weird. <laughs> this sounds so weird, but I just got this download that this person has like really, <laughs> really nice minty fresh breath or like <laughs> they smell really good. Woo, okay. Um, there could also be like a certain type of exercise that they really enjoy, whether that's dancing or yoga or jogging or something. We have the Ten of Crystals, which is the Ten of Swords. I just heard like they're here to put an end to your suffering. That's kind of 
intense, but. Okay, we also have the Eight of Crystals. Oh, okay. Um, the King of Crystals, which is the King of Swords. Wow, this is all swords. So there's a lot of air energy going on as well. Um, you or this person could be an air sign or, um, and then this is the queen of pentacles. Um, what was I going to say? You or this person could be an air sign or this could be, um, indicating that you have a very good intellectual connection with this person. Like you vibe off each other really well. You connect um, mentally. It could also be that they're here to help offer you a new mindset with this perception, like a new way of seeing the world. Um, oh wow, we have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. There is a ton of air energy. Um, these could also be seasons. So like all of the swords energy is very strongly pointing towards the winter season. So that could be indicating like when this person is coming towards you. We have a little bit of autumn energy with the, um, with the queen of stars here. So I think for many of you, the season of winter is going to be significant. Um, and then for some, it could be like late autumn, whenever that happens when you're in the world, of course. Um, but wow, that's so, this is so cool. So we start over here with the 10 of swords and the message that came to me really strongly with this is that they're here to put an end to your suffering, which I thought was interesting. Um, and then to have the eight of swords right next to this, the eight of swords kind of represents like a mental prison of our own making. It's the ways in which we, and I just saw 1111, oh my gosh. Um, you could be seeing that number before you meet this person, or that could even be, if you see that number, that could be like this person's higher self um, trying to get your attention. Um, but wow, oh my gosh, I just realized I was about to talk about you know, how the, the Eight of Swords is, is the ways in which we hold ourselves back, we tell ourselves we can't, we tell ourselves we're not good enough, and we really hold ourselves back from amazing opportunities. Um, and, you know, seeing 1111, the number one, is very much a number that encourages us to be confident, to take action, um, to go after what we want. I personally think of the number one as like a huge green light from the universe. Like do it, go for it, it's gonna be great. Um, it promises a new exciting beginning. And I think it's also a confirmation that you're manifesting your desires. Um, and wow, I think that's also a relevant point for this group. You know, sometimes we speak about like, oh, having negative thoughts is going to block your manifestations. And while I think that's true to some extent, um, it's more so because if we have negative thoughts or if we have this negative story that we're telling ourselves, um, we could talk ourselves out of taking action. We could talk ourselves out of going after opportunities or putting ourselves out there. And this might be something that has been happening with this group. Um, I, I personally used to perceive it, and I think that maybe some others out there um, per have perceived it this way, of like, the universe is examining our thoughts and is like, oh, look, Kino's having negative thoughts, no manifestation for you. I used to think of it that way, maybe that's dumb, or I don't know, maybe some of you guys can relate, but it's not like that. It's not like we're getting rewarded for positive thinking and punished for negative thinking, but it's more that just naturally, if you are in a more pessimistic mindset or if you have limiting beliefs, you are going to kind of stop yourself from seizing the things that you want such that even if the universe did come and bring you what you were asking for, you might tell yourself, oh, that's not for me, that's for someone else, or I'm not good enough to go for that yet, or like, I'm, it's not gonna work out anyway. Um, and I feel like maybe you guys have kind of had that negative self-talk or you've just been holding yourself back. And with the, with the queen of pentacles here and actually with the king of swords as well, I do feel like this is some sort of collaboration, some sort of business venture. Like you're going to make money with this person <laughs> and you're going to be successful with this person. Um, I almost feel like you could be like organizing a project with them or like managing a big project with them because the King of Swords 
very much does give me that vibe. King of Swords gives me project manager vibes. Like he's in charge, he's supervising everything, you know, making sure that everything is working together, like a, like a director or yeah, like a director or like a manager. So I feel like this person is here to bring you an offer that you will personally feel is outside of the scope of what you're capable of, like your expertise or your experience, but the universe is encouraging you to like take this challenge. And, oh wow, this is really, really nice. Um, the, <laughs> yeah, because this person has such a laid back, easy going, go with the flow, soothing nature to them, this is gonna help you feel confident to accept the offer. Because maybe you guys have aspirations to be in an industry or you're in an industry that is kind of like cutthroat or that feels kind of like cold or that's very competitive. But this person's nature is very like, no worries, man, we'll figure it out. And they kind of destroy that illusion of having to take things so seriously. And oh my gosh, that's why the Queen of Swords is here. Um, I've really be, been seeing her more and more in this light in recent readings that she's here to remind us not to take things so seriously. At the end of the life, at the end of the life, <laughs> was that a slip? I guess at the end of your life, you know, you're gonna regret the things that you didn't do more than the things that you did do. But I was gonna say, <laughs> at the end of the day, we're just souls here to have fun and here to manifest our desires. And, you know, getting caught up in like, oh, but there's so much competition. Oh, but it's so cutthroat. Oh, what if people judge me? That's really, really limiting your soul. And it's taking, it's taking this simulation too seriously, the simulation that is life. <laughs> and, you know, these are all just fabrications, all of this like, all of these standards, all of this pressure that we put on ourselves, it was fabricated by humans and then it was upheld by humans. But you don't have to subscribe to that. You don't have to put that same pressure on yourself or take things so seriously. And if anyone could remind you of that, I think it's, it's this person. Um, for some reason, I'm getting like Rick Rubin vibes. <laughs> I don't I even I don't even know him that well, but I know that he's a Pisces. He's a music producer, very prolific. Um, I know that he's a Pisces and I know that I, I think one of his philosophies is like to not overthink things, you know, to think less and and do more. And I've just seen a lot of like inspirational quotes from him <laughs> on my feeds, but I don't know, he just came to my mind. Maybe this is someone like who is prolific in whatever field you guys are interested in or who's like really look up to, but they just have such a relaxed vibe to them and that's gonna help you, you know, calm down, I think, because the 10 of swords is also a very overthinky, mentally exhausted um, kind of vibe. But it's so interesting that this person is lying face up because they're usually face down. And I'm seeing someone who's like, they're lying in a grave, but they can see their way out. This person could be here to bring you like a new chance or to revive a passion that you kind of gave up on. And they're saying like, it's not over. You don't have to tell yourself that story that it's over or that you can't climb out of this <laughs> grave. I'm sorry, that's so like um, spooky, but they're kind of challenging you to tell yourself a different story. What if you told yourself that you could do it? What if you didn't have to take yourself or take this so seriously? What if you just went for it? And I feel like you really are ready with all these kings and queens. You are ready. You are qualified. You do have the talent. So they're here to remind you of that and extend you some offer, like manage this project with me, direct this with me like start this business with me, like you're gonna be right up there with them. Um, rabbits are a sign of fertility, so 
whatever you're doing with this person is going to be very successful and likely fast. You know, rabbits indicate speed. They also multiply quickly. I think when you join forces, you're going to produce results like, like magic. Um, and also I'm thinking of the chariot because we are speaking about cancer. We have the number seven here. If you reduce it, um, the chariot's very fast and it talks about victory and public recognition um, and really finding success through following your intuition like not through following the textbook or through following what society expects of you but just following your own heart which is really really beautiful um, but with this being the bottom of the deck energy I think something really big that this person is offering you is that is a new mindset broken record, but a new mindset of not taking things so seriously and also like reclaiming your ability and your right to discern what energies are for you and what energies are not for you. So in the example of being in a really like cutthroat competitive business, um, you don't have to submit to that energy or you don't have to contribute to that energy. I think sometimes, like sometimes we, we walk into a room and we're like, oh, well, everyone else in the room is doing this. So I have to do that too. I think that's just part of our human nature, right? Like to adapt to what everyone else is doing and like, you know, when in Rome, <laughs> but I think they're teaching you that you can walk into that room and say, huh, I see what you guys are doing, but that that's not really for me. That mentality doesn't make me feel good. This way that you're doing things doesn't really vibe with me and I'm gonna do it a different way. You're allowed to do that. Like even with like standards, like beauty standards, for example, you can be like, okay, it's cool that you guys are doing that. I don't really like that. Standards are not something that is pointing the finger to you and saying you must be this way you can think of the standards as more of a suggestion. And if you don't like the suggestion and you discern that something else is better for you, that is your right. And that's the queen of swords because no one can mess with her. She doesn't take any shit. And she's also very good at discerning what energy serves her and what energy doesn't. And if something doesn't serve her, like, bye. <laughs> she just gets rid of it. Um, and with this eight of crystals, you guys maybe have fallen prey to toxic standards, which I think all of us have at some point. Um, but this person is here to help alleviate that and to quite simply be like, this standard doesn't make me feel good. This does not apply to me. It, it, I don't have to make it apply to me. That's my choice. And I'm going to do something else. So it's cool. Like on one hand, I do see that they're offering you some sort of collaboration, but the biggest thing that they're offering you is the mindset is that new mindset. That's so cool. Um, wow. Okay. So this is everything that I'm seeing for this part of the reading. So we're going to take it over to the extended now and we're going to see why. So why did they choose you to offer this to you? What was their thought process in coming towards you? And then also like, why is spirit bringing this offer to you at this time? And then we're also going to see what will happen if you choose to uh, accept this offer. So if that sounds good to you and you would like to join me over in the extended, that will be linked in the description as well as in the pinned comment. However, if you are going to leave the reading here, I will say thank you very, very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself. Stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. And you can also follow me on Instagram where I post weekly pick a card readings as well as new moon and full moon readings. And I have a music channel. The song that you guys heard at the very start of this video was an original song. So if you're interested in listening to the full version of that song or any of my other ones, the music channel will be linked down below for you as well. Group number ones, I'm sending so much love to you, to whoever this beautiful person is, and to both of your spiritual teams who are most certainly conspiring together <laughs> to bring about this union, this collaboration. Um, once again, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! 
Hi number twos, so if you guys chose the Crystal Power Tarot, this is going to be your reading. So we're going to start off the reading by identifying who this person is, who is coming towards you, and then we are going to see what it is that they are offering to you. Um, and then in the extended reading, like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to see why. So why did this person choose to come towards you now and bring you this offer? What was their thought process? And why did spirit choose for you to have this experience at this point in your journey? And then we're also going to see what will happen if you do choose to take the offer. So the first thing we have to do is figure out who this person is. So for that, I have a few oracle cards that we're going to look at. So we're starting off with the sun. And this is not an oracle card, but <laughs> whatever. Um, then we have Matrix. Seeing through the Matrix, you are a system buster. Strategy. And Cancer with Immerse. Okay, so we have, of course, we have the sign of Cancer here. We also have the sign of Leo with the sun. So Cancer and Leo could be significant zodiac placements of this person, or this could also be referring to the window of time that is Cancer and Leo season, which is roughly from late June to late August. Um, that could be an important window in this connection, whether that's like when they're gonna come towards you or maybe when you met this person um, or something like that. But with the sun here, right away when it comes to someone's personality, I do take this literally to mean that this person is very much like a ray of sunshine. I would say that they have a cheerful disposition to them. I would say that they're very charming, very funny they tend to have a more positive outlook on life and this is someone who is very active like they are very much a doer um, this could be indicating that they're very physically active like they do exercise or they do sports or they have a job where they're like on their feet and moving around a lot um, or this could be just that like they're full of energy, they want to do so many different things, they're very hardworking, maybe they have like a lot of passions, a lot of hobbies. I guess I could just say that this person feels vibrant. They feel vibrant, they feel full of life, they feel very enthusiastic. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I would also say that this person is very funny. And they do have a childlike innocence to them. The sun makes me think of children because there's literally a child on the sun card and cancer as well makes me think of children. Um, it could be as well that this person is a parent, um, but I think it's more so that they have childlike, um, childlike qualities about them. Um, Oh, I should point out the numbers here as well. 19, 21, and 4. These could be relevant numbers. Um, I guess they could be ages. 4 is kind of young, but <laughs> you never know. 19 and 21. Or these could be relevant dates, like the 19th, the 21st, the 4th of a month. Um, it could even be like April 19th, April 21st. Um, could be birthdays or significant dates. Um, as well as Life Path 4 could be significant. Um, the number 21 is making me think of the world in tarot, which could indicate that this is a very accomplished person or like a highly cultured, highly educated person, um, or that this is just a popular person, like everybody likes them, <laughs> especially with them being a ray of sunshine and being so charming and funny and optimistic. I could definitely see that. Um, even just looking at this um, sun here, we have people orbiting around them. So there could be a lot of people who are trying to get with this person or trying to get this person's attention. There could be a lot of people like chasing this person. Like they're, they're popular, they're attractive. That can be a meaning of this as well. Um, the world could also be indicating that they are from another country than you or a different ethnicity or they could like speak another language than you. I'm looking at immerse and I'm thinking of like immersion in a language. Um, 
you know, when we say like you immerse yourself in the language, immerse yourself in the culture or like an immersion course. Um, and I kind of put those together. Um, this person could live far away from you or be from far away from you. Um, but yeah, I think that's what I see in terms of the sun for their personality. Um, they could also be very creative and I would say too that they're outgoing and even that they're a bit of a ham. <laughs> it's not like they're trying to be in the center of attention, but they just have such a big personality that I think they do kind of end up in the center of attention and like, um, the life of the party. Um, also, it's funny, I said I was done, but there's more. <laughs> um, there's like a specific message. Um, for those of you, this person is like an adult and they're like not a student anymore. There's this message that like they were maybe the class clown and didn't do super well in school, but the teacher still loved them just because of like their personality. They were really funny. They were really like kind. Um, and they have smarts other than book smarts, I guess, or like their intelligence isn't compatible with how it's graded in school. I should say it more like that. Their intelligence can't really be put in those types of boxes. So they, they're like a very creative thinker, an innovative thinker. Their mental processes might be not like typical to how the school system ranks you, if that makes sense. Um, with strategy here, there's a few things coming to my mind with this. One is that this person could be a writer, um, whether they write books, whether they write songs, whether they write copy, whether they write code. <laughs> um, I feel like they could do something that has to do with writing for a living. They could write scripts. Um, this could also be indicating that you are already in communication with this person. Like you're already messaging each other. You're already in contact. Um, and that they're already planning how to make this offer to you or have decided already that they want to make this offer to you. Um, and then another thing that's coming with this is that you could be manifesting this person right now. So this could be like a specific person that you're trying to manifest or, um, with something else that you're trying to manifest in your life, they play an important role in that. Even if you're like, oh, I just, I want to manifest a person like this and they are a person like that or like with a certain opportunity that you want, they're going to like help you to get that. But whatever you're trying to manifest, that's going to bring this person in. Um, with matrix, seeing through the matrix, you are a system buster. The first thing that's coming to my mind with this is synchronicity. So there could be a lot of synchronicity surrounding your connection to this person. Um, if you don't know them yet, you've probably received some kind of messages from spirit about their entrance into your life. Um, or there's a lot of like signs and synchronicities that are announcing their arrival. But I think in terms of their personality, um, and this is kind of similar to group number one in that there's someone who doesn't fall for, or they don't just like blindly accept the stories that society tells or like the societal norms. They're very much a critical thinker and they very much live in their own way. And they're very confident in that. This is not someone who worries like, do I meet the societal standards? Do people think I'm weird? They're very much living for themselves. Um, and then with cancer here, I definitely feel like there is a softer, like a more soft spoken, more gentle side to this person. And I'm almost getting the feeling that like, when they go out into the world or like into a social situation, they have a huge personality. Like they're super charming and like, you know, talkative and funny and entertaining. And then when they go home, they're just like a little hermit crab. They're like a little homebody and they're very like quiet and chill. Maybe they just like to watch shows and hang out with their pet. And I feel like this person is secretly kind of a homebody <laughs> or like they really do enjoy their alone and cozy time. They could also be like good at cooking or be into some kind of homey thing like crafts or DIYs or cancer makes me think of that sometimes as well. So they're kind of a little softy on the inside, but uh, this is what I'm seeing about their personality. So maybe this will help you identify who this is if you already know them or the type of person to look out for if you haven't met them yet. But let's get into your tarot now to see what exactly it is that this person is offering you. And I have not used this deck in 
ages. So she's making a comeback today. <laughs> this was actually, I think this was the second tarot deck I ever owned. Or it was like very much one of the like first few. Okay, my group number two is what is it that this person is going to offer to you? Oh, okay, we have the two of cups. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. Justice, I speak my truth in fairness to myself. Oh my gosh, get out of town. Okay, I'll be right back. So in my bathroom, I have like a shelf of crystals, just like decorative crystals. And I was in the bathroom earlier today, like before filming this group, and I have this chunk of sodalite, like this big boy sodalite. And I was just like staring at it and it was calling out to me. And I was like, should I bring this in? Like, should I bring this in for group two's reading? Um, and then I was like, wow, it would be so cool if like I brought it into group two's reading and then like something about sodalite popped up in the reading. Like I literally had that thought, but I ignored it. And I just came and started to film the reading and sodalite right here, second, second tarot card that comes out sodalite. So let that be a sign for you guys <laughs> to listen to your intuition the first time. Like if you get an inkling, oh, maybe this, Maybe this is a sign that blah, 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 or like maybe this synchronicity means blah, blah, blah. Believe it the first time. Let that be a lesson. Don't be like me. <laughs> okay. Let's, whoa. Okay, let's keep going. We have the world. So there's another synchronicity. We were speaking about the number 21 reminding me of the world. It says, I celebrate life and welcome new energy. Ooh. And then we all, oh, we have the Ten of Cups. I have all I wish for in my relationships. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups and it says, I listen to my heart and follow my knowing. Wow. Okay. So, wait, let me just, there. Um, okay, it's pretty clear for my group number twos that this person is here to offer you some type of personal relationship. I will say there's quite a bit of indications of like a romantic offer, a love offer, but I of course want to accommodate those who are not interested in romance or who are already in a committed relationship. Um, you know, this card says I'm worthy of the deepest kind of love. I have all I wish for in my relationships. This could also be like a very close friendship that this person is offering to you, but it's a heartfelt offer. Um, it's an offer of love. It's an offer of a personal relationship. Um, if you know this person already, I would say that you probably already really like them or already have feelings for them because the two of cups does indicate like reciprocated mutual feelings same with justice like there's a lot of reciprocity in justice so this person is here to offer you reciprocity like an equal beautiful exchange of energy i give as much as i receive i give as much as you give you guys get the picture and <laughs> this person is here to make you feel seen and to make you feel truly valued and appreciated. Um, I'm getting the feeling that this is someone who wants to take you on a lot of adventures and just make all of your dreams come true. With the Four of Cups here, I feel like this is an encouragement from Spirit to step out of your comfort zone or just to like live a little, so to speak. Um, the Four of Cups can indicate an energy that is kind of stale, kind of uninspiring. So this person might be coming into your life to help you out of a rut, out of a funk that you might be in, out of a stagnant situation. And they are going to bring a lot of excitement to your life and a lot of adventure to your life. With the world here, I think that, yeah, when it comes to connections, and this is a an interpretation I feel like I haven't used in quite a while. Maybe 
as long as I haven't used this deck. But I used to say with the world, like, this person's gonna bring a lot of firsts into your life, you know? Like, my first time going to this place, my first time trying this cuisine, my first time um, seeing this type of performance, you know? Like they're bringing a lot of new experiences and a lot of adventures to your life. And this is someone who anytime they're with you or like, I feel like they just want to take you out a lot. And it's like everything is so thorough and everything is so planned out. And it really makes you feel like this person is intentionally choosing me. This person is like, actively making me a priority, actively making time for me, um, which I think can be kind of refreshing because in, I think in a lot of connections, well, I don't know. It just seems that way with modern dating and stuff that we're like, we're looking for people who it's like, it's convenient to see them or like they're an option, but we have other options. Um, Oh my gosh, I sound like like a cynical old person, but like these dating apps and social media, I think you guys know what I mean. I feel like this person is bringing back the classic like, I like you, I'm gonna pursue you, I'm going to court you, I'm going to plan our dates. Like they really make you understand that you are the priority you are the first choice you are not an option you are not just convenient like i specifically want to pursue you and and i want to reciprocate all of your love all of your emotion all of your effort all of your openness all of your emotional availability like i want to reciprocate that right back to you i want to be in this beautiful kind of committed um romantic relationship or friendship um it's such a beautiful energy and i have a feeling that this person it's they live a kind of lavish life or or kind of an aspirational lifestyle you know like they go to cool events or i feel like they're very cultured they have very good taste they know the best spots they know the best food they know the best parties they know the best people um i think you're gonna have such an amazing time with this person it's like they're gonna sweep you off their feet and um you know if there's things like people places that you want to introduce to them i think you're just gonna have such a fun time like exploring each other's world and you know with the world here i feel like the two of you do have quite different worlds um whether that's like different cultures, different social circles, um, different places that you frequent. So when you come together and like share what you love with each other, your world is becoming that much bigger. So it's like, it's a very expansive energy. It's a very um, enriching energy. Um, justice is also an indication of like committed partnerships. Um, honesty, integrity, like they're here to truly offer you their heart and their promise to be honest and their promise to show up for you um, and to bring you everything that will make you happy, like that you truly have all you wish for. Like this person is here to offer you the full package when it comes to love or the full package when it comes to friendship. Like they're really, really committed to you and really, really love you and look up to you. Um, and yeah, it's funny that we have this as the bottom deck energy. I listen to my heart and follow my knowing. There's that message for this group, like believe what your intuition tells you the first time. If you intuitively know who this is, if you intuitively know what the signs are trying to tell you, listen to that. Well, I mean, even if you ignore it, it's gonna happen anyway, but it's nice to know that like, oh, that little voice that was telling me that was right. So I think that this is your encouragement. Like anything you feel, about this connection, about this person, about what's coming for you, believe that. Believe that because it is accurate. Um, so yeah, this is really sweet. They're here to offer you a super emotionally fulfilling, peaceful relationship, loyalty, honesty, a committed partnership, and also, oh my gosh, so many new and exciting experiences. Like they're really, really here to broaden your world 
and to oh I just heard like open your mind to all the pleasures <laughs> like there's pleasures that you have not yet experienced in this life um, out in the world or I don't know in a more intimate sense <laughs> they're here to bring that pleasure to you um, I should also mention we have oh both of these represent cancer actually so there's a lot of cancer vibes going on um, this is the moon in cancer and this is Venus in cancer which you could be a Leo with Venus in cancer that is the thing um, and then the world or <laughs> Justice is Libra, and then the world is all the fixed signs, which is, again, Leo, um, Taurus, and you can also be Taurus with Venus in Cancer, um, and Scorpio and Aquarius. Those could be significant zodiac signs. And then the Ten of Cups is, I want to say Mars in Pisces. Yeah, it's Mars in Pisces. Um, but I think that's everything for group number two. So we are gonna take it over to the extended reading now. So in the extended reading, we're gonna see why this person chose you, why they're choosing to come towards you now, what was their thought process, and also why is spirit facilitating this experience for you right now? And we're gonna see what will happen if you do accept this offer. So if that sounds good to you and you would like to join me over in the extended reading, that will be linked in the description as well as in the pinned comment. Um, but if you're gonna leave the reading here, I will say thank you very, very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself, stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. And you can also follow me on Instagram where I post weekly pick a card readings as well as new moon and full moon readings that will also be linked in the description and the pinned comment and I have a music channel the song that you guys heard at the very start of this video was an original song so if you're interested in listening to the full version of that song or any of my other ones the music channel will be linked down below for you as well group number twos i'm sending so much love to you to this beautiful person and to both of your spiritual teams who are surely conspiring together to bring about this union thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate your support and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye Hi number threes, so if you guys chose the Orion's Animal Tarot, I hope that I'm saying that correctly, this is going to be your reading. So in this reading, we're gonna start off by identifying this person who is going to come towards you, and then we're gonna see what exactly it is that they will be offering to you. And then in the extended reading, we're going to see why. So why did this person choose to make this offer to you? And also why did spirit choose for you to um, or like facilitate for you to align with this experience at this point in your life and what's going to happen if you do accept the offer. So the very first thing that we need to do is find out who this person is. So to do that, I have one tarot card and three oracle cards. So our tarot card is the devil and our oracle cards are dolphin, play and laughter, life is an eternal adventure, third chakra, Archangel Chamuel, and Venus with Beloved. Okay, so the first thing I'm noticing is that we have repeating letter Ds. I like to look out for repeating letters in like the initial um, oracle card part of readings. So D could be a significant initial, um, for example, someone's first, middle, or last name. It could also be the initials of a significant city, country, company, organization, or something like that. And I'm so sorry to say this, but <laughs> this person could be offering the D. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's let's talk a little bit about this person. So with the devil here, when it comes to describing a person, I tend to think of the devil as someone who is in some kind of authority position. There's some kind of boss, there's some kind of leader because the devil is related to the sign of Capricorn. And actually, let's just take a look at <laughs> zodiac signs. Capricorn and then with Venus, this can also be um, Taurus or Libra. The numbers 15, 21, 37, 
could also be significant. Um, this person could be 37 or 21. I don't know about 15, maybe not. Um, well, you never know. But these could be also significant dates like the 15th, the 21st of a month, um, or the 3rd or the 7th, because obviously there's not a 37th. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get back to this devil. So the devil is related to Capricorn and the 10th house. And so this makes me think generally of someone who is ambitious, hardworking, um, and they're sort of like at the top with whatever they're doing because in the zodiac wheel, the 10th house is at the very top and it does pertain to our, um, our status, our position, our public image. Um, so this could be someone who's either in a position of authority or who is to some extent in the public eye. Um, and then it's funny because the devil, when we talk about connections, it also makes me think of like, you know, magnetic sexual attraction, like being super drawn to someone, like you can't stop thinking about them. I think that if you knew this person already, it would be pretty obvious because I would say that you're likely um, very attracted to them. Like with Venus and Beloved here as well, um, that's definitely a meaning of this devil card. It can also indicate someone who could trigger insecurities in you. So if I had to guess, this is likely someone who you're attracted to and who you like look up to a lot or that you would when you meet them. And they might trigger some feelings within you of like, am I good enough for this person? I don't know, like, am I attractive enough? Am I successful enough? Am I worthy enough? And you know, that definitely isn't something that only happens in romantic and sexual connections that can happen like in friendships that can happen in work connections um so i mean it could just be that you find this person very very attractive and very successful and you might wonder like if you are in their league or if you measure up now spoiler alert the devil is full of shit so any voice that is in your head telling you that you are not worthy or that you are not good enough or any of these insecurities that come up this is just like your ego lying to you this is just your fears lying to you um but yeah even like the third chakra here the solar plexus um i'm thinking of like confidence i feel like this person just like radiates confidence, radiates strength. They do kind of have a masculine energy about them regardless of whether they're um, a man or not because I feel like they're like a natural leader and they're very confident and they're very driven. Um, and so I could see why you would look up to this person but I think it's important that you know that you have all of these exact traits as well. And I think that the dolphin is here almost as like a message from spirit to give yourself permission to let loose around this person and just enjoy their company without like worrying how they're perceiving you or worrying if you measure up. I really feel like you are equals with this person. Um, and I think this is spirit wanting you to have more fun. And this could also be about their personality that, you know, they might come off as kind of scary or intimidating at first, but they're actually very silly, very fun-loving. I just heard the word jovial <laughs> um, and very jovial. And I also think this person is extremely generous. Um, I think that they're kind of misunderstood. Like people could see them as very like serious, snobby, intimidating. They kind of have that like rough exterior um but they're super silly and they're super laid back on the inside um with venus and beloved here uh this could be a further indication that this is like a romantic interest of sorts um but actually venus talks about money as well so wow there could be so many <laughs> There could be so many different like dynamics that you have with this person, but the consistent thing that I see regardless is that you're very attracted to them, you look up to them, they're in a high position, um, 
They appear as serious and intimidating, but they're actually very funny, silly, playful, affectionate, and very generous. And they could bring up some insecurities in you, especially like, you know, feelings of not being like good enough, not being in their league. Like you could only align with this person once you reach a certain level of success or once your appearance is a certain way or once you get your life together in a certain way and otherwise it's not gonna happen. Like those kind of pressuring or restrictive thoughts, they could bring up things like this. Um, so I definitely think that if you already met this person, it will be very obvious who they are. Um, but if it's not ringing any bells, it's probably a new person because they do have a very intense effect on you. Like they make you feel very intensely or you feel drawn to them very intensely. So, you know, you, you would definitely know. Okay, so let's get into your tarot now and see what exactly this person is offering to you. Okay, wow, we have the Empress. The Five of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. Death, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. And I need to drink some water, and I feel like that is relevant because I feel like this person is thirsty. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> I want to, oh wow, we have Taurus and Libra here with Venus and we have Taurus and Libra here with the Empress. Um, so those could be significant zodiac signs or let me think, um, there are five months between Taurus season and Libra season. So the next five months could be significant with this person. Um, and we even have the number five, like right next to the Empress. Um, maybe it's like three to five months is going to be a significant like window. Um, but anyway, what I can say right off the bat is that this person is extremely attracted to you as well. Um, I mean, we've seen that with Venus, we've seen that with the devil, but the Empress as well. The Empress is like the epitome of beauty. She's like the most beautiful in the whole deck. And I would say that the Queen of Wands is a close second. Like <laughs> the Empress for me is like beautiful and the Queen of Wands is like hot. So <laughs> this person sees both of that in you. And I think that there is a very, very strong um, physical attraction here. And so maybe that D thing was accurate. <laughs> Um, like maybe they're they're offering you like they're making a move to initiate a sexual connection or like the offer is physical in nature but what I want to say with the five of pentacles is that this person is emphasizing first of all I don't think this offer is like monetary in nature or has to do with like work or money I think it's something personal but the five of pentacles here is saying like it's more than just that so you know this person being physically attracted to you or like sexually attracted to you or whatever they're saying it's it goes beyond that i want to offer you more than that this could be someone that you had like history with that you had that type of relationship with and it came off as if like that was the only thing that they wanted with you and they're coming through now to say that like no, it's not just that. Like what I want to offer you goes beyond just that type of connection. I feel like this is someone who does have romantic feelings for you. And I could even say they have love for you with the Empress here. And the Five of Pentacles is also a card that comes out when someone misses you. Like they're feeling your absence. They're feeling lonely without you. Um, I'm getting the feeling that you guys likely do know this person and have a history with them and like, 
maybe your relationship only went to a certain point before and now in your absence they're realizing like how much they really miss you and that they want you know they want more they want to have a deeper relationship with you they want to have like a deeper emotional or more intimate bond with you um, especially because the polar bear on this five of pentacles card is looking like longingly towards the empress which I feel is representing you and like their love or the, you know, strong feelings that they have for you. Um, and yeah, this polar bear just looks so lonely, like on his little island. I think that, oh, wow. Okay, look at this. The queen of wands is looking towards the polar bear, but the polar bear is not paying attention and is looking towards the empress. So I feel like this is someone who's like, fixated on you you're the empress you're like their ultimate love or their ultimate object of affection and i feel like the queen of wands is representing like other suitors other people who might be trying to get their attention or trying to get with them and they're realizing like i don't want that um and it's interesting that the queen of wands or like to me represents someone who's like hot or someone who's physically attractive i feel like they might have pursued more shallow relationships like that in the past more like casual maybe physical relationships like that in the past but they realize that that's not what they really want because it doesn't bring them any emotional fulfillment and in fact it makes them feel even lonelier it's like the more they would engage in that type of relationship actually the more lonely they feel because their heart is craving to actually be seen and to actually be exposed and to actually be held and they're like no I want this empress like I want the whole package yes I'm like very physically attracted to you but I want that emotional connection as well I want that like deep spiritual connection as well and so I think they're kind of offering you maybe even an apology like I fucked up or you know I didn't realize what I truly wanted or I didn't realize what you know how special it was what I had with you um, and I'm sort of getting mixed feelings from this group that like for some of you you were hoping for this to happen you were like waiting for this person to come back others of you I feel like maybe you've kind of already moved on and you're like okay like come back and say sorry come back and say you realize I'm an empress but like sorry i you know like i've already moved on from you or maybe you're already with someone else um you know this is like a it feels like a, an old flame or an old situationship um and they're realizing that they messed up and they're like they want a second chance like that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting from this and i honestly don't know um how this group will react to this offer that is coming but it's like a, i miss you <laughs> i miss you i'm thinking about you i haven't been able to find like anything out there that is similar to what we had or, or anything that measures up to you um and yeah it's like they're kind of coming crawling back is kind of harsh but it's kind of what it feels like like they haven't been able to stop thinking about you since then and like they're coming back to confess their true feelings um now death can be interpreted in a couple of different ways and i do think that we have a mixed group here um death can indicate like completely releasing completely moving on completely walking away and I do think some of you have done that and you're like, you're, you know, you're too late in realizing this, especially with the Queen of Pentacles next to it, because the Queen of Pentacles is like someone who really sees their worth and someone who really knows what they deserve and is like put themselves first um, and is taking care of themselves and healed and matured, um, which if that leads you to the connection of walking away from this person, that's definitely an option like you don't have to take this offer but this could also be indicating transformation a new dynamic so this could be like our old dynamic is gone we've both 
grown, we've both changed, we've both evolved, and now we can try this again, like a completely fresh start, a completely new dynamic. Um, I do see this sometimes as well. With the Empress and with this little like baby thing here, like the two people, not people, the two, I think these are, are these axolotls? It kind of looks like that, but whatever. The two creatures coming together and there's like a baby here. Some of you guys could like have children with this person. And so like you want things to work out, but in order for them to work out, they really need to like step up. Or it could just be someone that you've seen a future with and that you you do have a special place for them in your heart no matter what. Um, but yeah, death could be like a complete walking away or it could be indicating like the metamorphosis of this connection where we're not gonna go back to our old ways, to our old selves, to the old dynamic. And in order for this to work, there has to be that like promise and that acknowledgement that we're not going to go back to the way things are before. Like things have to really change. Um, so this queen of pentacles, you know, for you guys who have gone through this journey to seeing your worth and to overcoming your insecurities and to fully loving yourself, this could also be you saying like, you know, I still care about you too. I still think about you too. But if we're going to make this work, I am expecting you to treat me this, this, and this way. Like this could be you being more assertive and like standing up for the kind of treatment that you expect and your boundaries and like kind of putting your foot down, which is interesting because the solar plexus can also talk about that, like asserting yourself and, you know, standing up for yourself and making sure that you get yours and that you get what you want. So Either one is a viable option, and I think no matter what you choose, you should feel empowered in that. Um, but it definitely does feel mixed for this group, which like this is the first one, you know, out of all of the three that I have filmed so far where I'm like, hmm, I actually wonder if <laughs> if you like want to take this offer or if you're going to take this offer or maybe you're on the fence about it. Uh, but yeah, it looks like someone has not forgotten about you and they see the empress that you are and they're wanting and they're wanting another chance. Very interesting. Um, okay, did I mention Scorpio energy? I think I did, yeah. Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, and Capricorn are relevant signs. Um, but yes, I think that that is all for the messages for group number three. We're gonna take it into the extended reading now where we're gonna see why it, why did this person choose to come forward? Well, obviously we know why, but like why now? What, what made them decide to come forward at this point? What was, you know, what realization did they have or what thought process did they go through to finally come towards you? And also, why is spirit bringing this to you at this point in your journey? Why is it happening from a more spiritual perspective? And then we're also going to see, and this I think this will be very interesting for this group in particular, um, what would happen if you do, in fact, accept this offer? Okay, so if that sounds good to you and you would like to meet me over in the extended reading, that will be linked in the description as well as in the pinned comment. However, if you're going to leave the reading here, I will say thank you very, very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself, stay healthy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. And you can also follow me on Instagram where I post weekly pick a card readings as well as new moon and full me full moon readings that will also be linked in the description and the pinned comment and i have a music channel the song you guys heard at the very start of this video was an original song so if you're interested in listening to the full version of that song that will be linked down below for you as well group number threes i'm sending much love to you to this person i hope that you guys will figure out and make the most empowering decision for you um, and i'm sending lots of love to your spiritual teams as well and once again thank you so much for being here i truly appreciate your support and i will see you in the next one bye bye 
Hi number fours, so if you guys chose the Chakra Wisdom Tarot, this is going to be your reading. So we're going to start off by identifying who this person is who is coming towards you, and then we're going to see what exactly it is that they are offering to you. And then, like I said in the intro, we have an extended reading today, so there we're going to see why this person chose to make this offer to you, what was their thought process, what realization did they have that led them to that decision, and also why did spirit arrange for this encounter to happen now at this point in your life and we're also going to see what will happen if you do accept the offer so the very first thing that we have to do in this reading is identify who this person is so to do that i have one tarot card and four oracle cards you guys actually got an extra one here so to start off we have the chariot We have prayer, connecting with the divine through the power of prayer. Woman holding a coin. And then for your double astrological cards, we have Jupiter with abundance and Aquarius with collaborate. Okay, so um, I'm going to start with the zodiac energies. We have Cancer here with the Chariot. Um, we have Sagittarius energy with Jupiter and obviously Aquarius here. Um, but also, Jupiter in Aquarius might be a placement of this person, which I believe you would be born in 1997 or 1985 or 1973. And I think it just keeps going back 12 years like that. I know for sure about 1997 and 1985 though. Um, and then these could be significant dates as well, like July 23rd, July 11th, November 7th, November 23rd. Um, these reduced to five and six. So those could be significant numbers as well. Um, yeah, okay, so <laughs> let's get into this person's personality or get into information about them. With Jupiter and Aquarius here, and also actually with woman holding a coin, and also actually with the chariot, um, this person either has a very large social circle or a very large network, like they have a lot of connections, or they have a following, you know, like they have a lot of followers, they have a lot of viewers or something like that. Um, because Aquarius has to do with exactly that community, friendships, networking, connections. So with Jupiter right next to this, we could say that they have an abundance of that. And then something about Aquarius energy makes me think of like the internet and social media. I don't know if that's an actual, maybe because Aquarius is about innovation and like modern stuff. Um, so then I felt like maybe they have a big social media page or a big social media presence as well. Um, this could also be indicating that they do something for a living that is um, unconventional. Like you don't really meet someone every day who does this kind of job because uh, Aquarius can be that kind of eccentric or again, like new, innovative, unusual type of energy. Um, and then Jupiter having to do with, you know, money they could make their money in a kind of unconventional way um, or in a modern way, which I realize social media does kind of fit into that description. So if this person, yeah, they either have a big social media platform or maybe that's how you meet them. Like they reach out to you through, I don't know, like Instagram or whatever the other ones are, Twitter, <laughs> um, Facebook. Um, but I definitely feel like meeting this person or being in these this person's life it could bring some exciting opportunities your way and or it could bring networking with some exciting connections your way with woman holding a coin here i feel like i usually don't pay attention to gender in these types of cards because there is also a man holding a coin um and like you know, in tarot, there's like the queen, the king of cups. And I usually don't think that that matters about the gender of the person. But for some reason, I feel like saying that this person is the same gender as you. Or like, there's something about them that 
makes them very relatable to you like something about how they identify so like the same gender as you or the same like nationality same ethnicity or like maybe they're around the same age as you but something makes them feel like familiar and approachable and also that you could like look up to them because you're like oh if this person who is similar to me can do it then I can do it too um, and I do think that this person has reached like a significant level of success with the fact that they're holding a coin and we have abundance here um, I could also say that they probably dress to impress like look at this woman holding a coin she's dressed very very fancy <laughs> um, I don't know if they dress exactly like this but I could say that maybe they're into fashion or they you know dress really well or in a way that really stands out they could also have a cat <laughs> or have a companion animal or maybe two because this chariot person has two um two animals but in some ways i feel like this person mm. so this person i think does implement like manifesting into their life um like setting intentions through spiritual practices i think they very much believe um, that intentions can and thoughts can create a reality and I think that's something that they do employ in their lives but I also think that this prayer card is indicating that in some ways this person is an answer to your prayers so whether you have been wishing for like friendships wishing for opportunities to come your way um, in some way this person is playing an important role in answering those prayers and I just think this person is very cool which I know is kind of vague, but I think you would find this person very cool, very inspirational, and I think many others do um, as well. With the chariot here, this is kind of odd, but sometimes the chariot gives me the message of like homes. I think because it's related to cancer. So this person could live close to you or they live like in a place where you are aspiring to live so like if it's your dream to live in LA for example and then this person would live in LA um, or they like live really close to you or you'll end up living close to each other that's what I'm kind of feeling with uh, the chariot and it's I guess the other interpretations of chariot have already kind of been described here like success recognition victory forward motion um, this could be someone who travels a lot with the chariot here and with um jupiter and that sagittarius energy so they could like post a lot and they're like oh now i'm in this country now i'm in this country now i'm over here doing this like it seems like they kind of have that jet setting life that exciting life um they have a kind of aspirational energy to them and i don't know social media keeps coming up so like Maybe you already follow this person or something or like they're just they that's what they do for a living or they're like really big over there <laughs> on one of the platforms but this is what I'm seeing about them so far so maybe by now you will know if, if this is someone you already know or if this is maybe a new person that's going to enter into your life but now we're going to get into the tarot to see what exactly it is that they're going to be offering to you. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. The Fool. We have the Knight of Swords and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Coins. Okay, interesting. So I actually feel like this person, they are coming to give you an offer, but I feel like they're kind of 
spirit is kind of using them to introduce you to someone else or like to get you to get you in the right place at the right time is kind of the vibe that I'm getting with the two of wands here I immediately thought of like invitation I feel like they would invite you to some kind of event or some kind of party or maybe some kind of performance um, yes you're getting invited by this person to an event um, we have more Aquarius energy here with the Fool, by the way. So Aquarius seems to be really strong. Um, Aquarius season could be like a significant time if it's not a Zodiac placement. Um, maybe the month of February, because we have a two here, like right next to the Fool. But yeah, they're like, they're inviting you somewhere. And I feel like with the Two of Wands, it's something that you wouldn't normally say yes to because often the two of wands indicates to me like keep your options open and explore adjacent possibilities um it's not like something you have an aversion to i will definitely say that um but it's just like not exactly your cup of tea so like let's say you are really into like heavy metal music and then this person invites you to um like a classical music concert and that's really not, that's really not your vibe, you know? You think like, oh, that might be boring, or I don't really know that type of music. Eh. Like, you would never think to do it yourself, I think, is kind of what Spirit is trying to say. Um, so it's not like you're like, no, I hate classical music. It's not something that you like have an aversion to, but you're just like, oh, I would have never considered going to something like that. Um, and there might be a part of you that's thinking of saying, no, because like, because <laughs> you're like, maybe I'll just stay home in my pajamas. But I think, I do think Spirit is encouraging you to take this offer because, and I, I think this has to do with like networking or connections that are going to come from this person. Um, that's not to say that you won't develop a relationship with this person, because I do think this person is someone that you find really cool and inspirational. And like we spoke about before, that you can really um, relate to them. Um, but I think the main thing that Spirit is trying to orchestrate here is that you get introduced to someone else from this person or this person brings you to a relevant place or a relevant like social circle that you need to be in so that you can get your opportunities. Um, because we have the Fool right next to the Two of Wands. So it's like if you explore if you explore this adjacent possibility, if you accept this invitation, um, then an unexpected opportunity will come to you because that's what the fool represents. And I think that, I think that it's the King of Cups. I, as soon as this King of Cups card came out, I felt like, oh, this is a different person. Um, so they're kind of like facilitating you to meet this King of Cups. And I think this is someone that you will work with in the future um wow yeah because the eight of coins for me this is definitely talking about work and i think it's very interesting that it matches it has the same color border as the fool almost as if these two things are referring to each other like an unexpected opportunity is going to come your way but kind of opportunity an eight of coins opportunity a work opportunity um and I think, oh, wow, yeah, and the freaking, uh, <laughs> the Knight of Swords is in blue, so it's related to the throat chakra, which means that you're going to get invited, you're going to go, you're going to meet this King of Cups and, like, get to talking very quickly. This, to me, is indicating that you guys are going to hit it off, and the King of Cups is associated with the... Is this the third eye or the crown chakra? No, third eye is this darker blue so this is the crown chakra um that's like when you're talking to this person you're just vibing you immediately feel intuitively like oh this person is important you might even receive some like downloads while you're talking to them or like feel a lot of synchronicities and it's going to be this moment of realization like thank god i said yes <laughs> to this invitation like i was supposed to come here even though like 
3D me, maybe you wouldn't have made that decision. My soul like pushed me to come here because my soul knew that something important was going to happen. And I feel like immediately, because this is fast, this is communication, but this is fast, this is exciting. Um, I also just heard like short notice with this, like you're going to get to talking about plans to work together. And maybe the short notice thing is like, like, oh, can you come to this thing tomorrow? You know, can you come to this meeting tomorrow or can you come to the set tomorrow or come to an interview tomorrow or whatever it is? Maybe not tomorrow, but like in the really near future, it feels like things are moving quickly and that's the chariot too. I feel like this person is here, this woman holding a coin is here to like accelerate, like to boost your opportunities, to accelerate your opportunities. Um, and then what I see with the eight of coins is that um, the opportunity that is coming here it is going to allow you to further develop your existing skills. And if there's anything that you guys are into or anything that you guys are working towards that is kind of like also niche or unconventional, um, it could be related to that. Because for some reason, Eight of Coins somehow came to have the meaning to me of like a niche interest, which is definitely not like a, a traditional meaning of it. Um, but like a niche interest that could make you very abundant if you pursue it further. So this opportunity will allow you to expand on those skills. Um, and also, I feel like it's going to be a consistent gig. It's not just like a one time thing, um, because the eight of coins does have a feeling of repetition in it. Like you're, you're being consistent with this work. You're doing it over and over and you're getting better and better. So they could be offering you like a like a contract for an extended period or even a full-time position. Um, but it's not like, oh, can you just help me with this one thing tomorrow? It's like, I want you to work with me in the long term. Um, yeah, and that offer is going to come from this King of Cups. I want to pull a, a clarifier about this King of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. Interesting. So, Four of Cups, it means like there's something that you're not seeing or there's something that at first you're not interested in. But it's weird because I know that like you will immediately know that there's something important about this person. Maybe it's like you don't you don't notice their presence initially or like you're not expecting it mm. maybe this is like spirit doesn't want to reveal any more information yet because the four of cups is like oh there's something that you're not seeing yet um but yeah it's like maybe this is an opportunity that would have been hard to find on your own but because you're saying yes to this new experience that like opens you up to this new opportunity, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll find maybe we'll find more information about the King of Cups like in the extended reading. I definitely want to look into both of these connections because this is actually the first group that um, multiple people appeared and like multiple offers appeared because uh, in the extended reading we're gonna see like what will happen if you accept this offer. But I kind of want to see like, what does the future hold for you and this woman holding a coin? And what does the future hold for you and this King of Cups? Um, so I think for, I think for your extended reading, it's going to be a little different because we're going to have to pull for both people. Um, and we also want to see why, why did they choose to make this offer to you? Or why did spirit put this offer in your path at this time? Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. I don't know how that's going to go, but we will make it work. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. So, um, yeah. Okay. I think that's everything for the messages over here. So if what we're going to be doing over in the extended reading sounds good to you and you would like to join me there, that will be linked in the description as well as in the pinned comment. However, if you're going to leave the reading here, I will say thank you very much for letting me do this reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and I wish you all the best. Please take good care of yourself, stay healthy, 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like doing that. And you can also follow me on Instagram where I post weekly pick a card readings as well as new moon and full moon readings that will also be linked in the description and the pinned comment. And I have a music channel. The song that you guys heard at the very start of this video was an original song. So if you're interested in listening to the full version of that song or any of my other ones, the music channel will be linked down below as well. Group number fours, I am sending you guys so much love and much love to this woman holding a coin and this king of cups and to any and all people who might be connected to them, the whole network, the whole community, much love to all of you, and as well to your spiritual teams. Once again, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate your support and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.